Updating the breaking news, we've been following a man spotted in the woods near Perkins Hospital in the same area where a prisoner escaped. Police find a number of items that indicate David Watson may still be in the area. He's been on the run now for nearly a week after breaking free from officers in Jessup. WJZ is live near the search scene in Howard County. George Solis with new information from police released in just the last few minutes. George. That's right, Vic. Moments ago, Howard County Police releasing some new information about this ongoing search effort for 28-year-old David Watson. They said that a caller earlier today did report seeing a man in a white hat and a safety vest. Now, police learned that those items were likely stolen. They say after questioning some people in the area, they did rule out a number of suspects. But here's where it gets interesting. They said they did find some packing materials in a concrete drainage tunnel, as well as some footprints they believe may have belonged to Watson. Chopper video capturing the increased police presence in Jessup Howard County Wednesday. Police once again searching the grounds near Clifton T. Perkins Hospital Center where 28-year-old convict David Watson escaped police custody last Friday. Watson has not been seen since. Wednesday, investigators working off a report of a sighting of an unknown man in the woods near the hospital setting off the manhunt once more. Some nearby anxious and hopeful this means the end of the search for a man serving more than 100 years for attempted murder. It's definitely nerve-wracking, but uh, I feel pretty safe in this area. I trust that uh, whoever's involved in finding him is doing their jobs. I hope it's him and I hope they find him soon. I mean, if that's what's going on, you know, get it over with as quickly as possible. The U.S. Marshal Service has taken the lead on the search for Watson and upped the reward for his capture up to $10,000. Watson escaped while being transferred from Wicomico County for a mental evaluation at Perkins. Police say Watson was able to push one of the two guards he was with when they arrived at the hospital before running off into the woods. Police later finding some of Watson's clothing there. They also found his waist and arm shackles near the transport van. Canines were also able to follow a trail near some train tracks near the Anne Arundel County line, but it later went cold. We searched trains that had gone through that area, even though we learned that the trains were traveling over 50 miles per hour, which would make it difficult for anyone to get on board. Now, some questions still left to answer is how did Watson get out of those handcuffs and whether or not he had help. It's also unclear whether or not this was a planned escape or if he acted on impulse. Now, moments from now, Howard County Police will be updating us with a press briefing. We'll bring that to you uh, with the newest information as soon as it becomes available. For now, I'm live in Jessup, George Solis, WJZ Eyewitness News. Photos of the man police are looking for. If you have any information about Watson's whereabouts or you see him, please call 911 immediately.